welcome back to the channel today we are finally working on that BMW right there it's a 328xi okay yeah you probably have seen it in the background quite a few times we are ready to paint that thing guys so uh, we'll be painting two bumpers and a trunk lid today we got a new bumper online eBay uh, we got this one for only like 70 bucks free shipping uh, can't be that it's good quality to be honest with you it's not bad for what it is uh, free shipping 70 bucks uh, it's pretty amazing ours was a little bit scratched here and there it needed a little bit of bond work but for 70 bucks uh, you know it's not even worth it so we bought this one it comes with uh, it's, it's a pre prime so we don't need to uh, spray primer or anything like that uh, there was a few spots that you scratch a little bit in the shipping process so we just uh, got those with a, a little bit of 600 cent paper and now we are going to show you guys how to paint the bumper uh, and what we use for that thank you for watching so it's important to clean the shop where you're painting and get the floor wet that's, that way you will not have dust uh, you also need to close it make sure there is no fan or anything like that and if you want to save your shoes, that's the way to do it. Also, we're using automotive-up.com. That's the paint we use. They don't pay us or anything like that, guys, but we like them. Nine out of 10 times, they will match the color perfectly. I mean, you won't even tell uh, the difference in the color. And uh, that's the wipes that we actually use from them too. Those are amazing. We love those things. Uh, we wipe everything with it before we paint as you can see it says that it removes surface oil grease wax and it proof adhesion and we are going to open it now and uh, what we usually do we cut one of those in two because uh, one will be a little bit too much for just one uh, one body part usually with uh, with a whole napkin you can do two bumpers no problem okay we'll show you now uh, so that's the one we're working on now you see how it gets wet okay that's that's perfect it cleans it super nice and it dries fast as well now by the time you're done it will be almost dry so uh, just give it probably about two to five minutes before you start painting make sure you get all the edges and everything that way that way the paint will will stick to it really good and we're just going to go ahead and do the whole bumper like that. Okay guys, and what we like about that company, they send you the sticks to stir the paint with, they send you, uh, they send you, you can see uh, the filter, paint filter, which is the appropriate one for the paint if it has, uh, if it has metallic flakes or no. Okay guys, you need one of those if you don't want to kill yourself. And we're just going to uh, get the paint now, get a filter, always, always use a filter because otherwise if you get something stuck in the paint gun, uh, believe me, you have to stop and you might have to mess up the whole paint job because you have to clean the gun and especially if it's in the middle of a clear coat, it's no fun at all. Okay, so we are just going to, uh, usually, usually what I do, uh, I prefer to have about uh, one maybe one third and one half of the gun full not over one half because it gets too heavy but if it's too empty you might run a low on a few spots when you tilt the gun so that's what I usually have about about half a gun I start with on something big and it's important guys the first coat need to be very thin because otherwise it will run you need to make sure it's not heavy coat needs to be thin and you need to get all the edges and especially right here around the, uh, the fenders, the wheel wells because that's a common spot that people miss so we'll go ahead and just spray it now quick
guys, we're gonna let it dry for about 15 minutes and we will do another coat. Just take the thing off quick. Second coat could be thicker. It, uh, it might take three coats, depending on the paint. Red without metallic usually covers really good. We will, we will shoot for two coats, but uh, sometimes it takes three. You can, uh, you can use a test card and see how many you need, but I think two will be perfect in our case. Okay right, guys, so that's a clear coat we're using right here, finish one, that's pretty good stuff, uh, an activator for it as well, uh, you can get one gallon for like a hundred bucks on, usually we get it on eBay, it's cheaper than the, the parts store or body, body shop store, and uh, you mix them four to one, so uh, we're just going to use that one, that jar right here, you can buy the cups that, are, that have the measuring lines and everything, but We've done it so many times, I mean, we most of the times we can eyeball it. Okay, that's good. And uh, now we can uh, add about a quarter of what we added with the, with the activator. And we have, uh, one, one of them is almost empty, so we'll use the second one as well. Okay, so you can see three, so you'll be almost all the way, all the way to here almost. So we need to add a little bit more. You need to stir it really good uh, when you add all the activator. Make sure it's mixed good before you proceed with painting. You need to clean your gun. The gun needs to be perfectly clean before you apply the clear coat. Okay, we're gonna mix it good now. Use a filter again because uh, you don't want to get stuck in the middle of clear coating. So we usually do one coat, you can do two as well. And uh, you need to make sure it's, uh, it's covered good. We'll show you what you need to look for. Otherwise, it will, uh, you will either have runs or it will, be, it will be not enough clear coat, which will look bad too. We have a video on our channel how to fix orange peel if, he, if it actually doesn't turn out good. So stay with us and we'll show you now what you need to do. Okay, let me show you now guys, it needs to be right before it gets super super shiny, that's when you stop. Uh, if you stop too early, it's going to look like that and that's not enough clear coat, you can see. So it needs to, right before it turns super shiny, cover it all, that's when you stop, otherwise you have a run if you make it too thick, because it's heavy and it will run.
finished it. We're gonna wait for it to dry now. It will be at least a couple of hours, probably three to four hours. We're gonna get it in the sun and show you guys what it looks like and if we have any imperfections and how to avoid that. Stay with us. We we're ready with the bumper. Let me show you what it looks like now. Okay, right here. <laughs> Still holding in. Let's get it outside now and see what it is like and if we have any imperfections okay you can see it looks it looks great it looks amazing there is almost zero zero uh, orange peel so that's good so uh, that's how you guys paint the bumper if you ever wonder or if you need to you save your wall of money instead of going to a body shop and you can get the bumper brand new on ebay with the paint and everything less than probably less than 200 bucks and body shop something like that they will charge you over a thousand bucks <laughs>